Hi everyone, how are you? Today I'm not bringing an actual Scratch tutorial, okay? But today I'm going to show you how to create this. Okay, this photograph, right? Have you seen it? Okay, can you please get out of here right now? Thank you. So let's see how to do it. So, for today's objective, we're going to need GIMP, which is an image editor, Scratch, and optionally Pixabay. And obviously, a picture of us where we're holding something. So let's open GIMP, let's click on File Open, and let's open this photograph. So here you have it. It is a very big photo and later on we'll have to resize it. So now let's go to Scratch. Let's code something like this. Okay, event when green flag clicked. Looks, say, and say this for example. Use the zoom to make it as big as possible. And now take a screenshot. Go to GIMP, edit, paste as new layer. And here we have two layers. It is important to select the layer where we want to work, okay? Now I'm going to make this photo a bit smaller so that it is uh, adjusted, adjusted to the size of, the, of these blocks. So let's take this scale tool. We click on the photo and we're going to make it a bit smaller. Let me see, more or less, even smaller. Okay, that way could be good. So, scale. So here we have it. And now obviously we have to remove all this. So we click on this layer. I'm gonna call it scratch block. And we're going to take this free select tool. I'm going to select this double click and now I'm gonna do Ctrl C paste as new layer so it is here and now obviously I don't need the scratch block the big one so right click delete, delete layer let's take this to move it. So now more or less you see that it is better adjusted. As you see this is selected so it's important to select none. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. It's gonna lose a little bit of a little bit of quality but not much. Okay that's gonna be better. So now as you see all this has the same color white. So, using the Fuzzy Select tool, okay, and adjusting the threshold just by clicking here and pressing delete on our keyboard, we can get rid of it. And now select none. So, let's place it here and obviously it doesn't look like I'm holding it because it's covering my fingers. So, uh, we're going to solve this this way. I'm going to move this opacity so that I can see my fingers and as you see I'm working on these blocks okay so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna zoom in you can control the zoom here but also using your control key on your keyboard and the roulette of the mouse I'm gonna take this selection tool and I'm going to select my fingers if I hold it I can move the mouse okay but if not, you can be clicking every time you want to change direction. Obviously, I'm not going to take the thumb because the thumb should be behind the blocks. So actually, double click. What I have selected 
are not my fingers, but it's this part of the block. So if I press on delete, what I have deleted is this part. Look at how it looks now, you see? Okay, and I have to do the same on the other part. So same process. Select none, and now we can return opacity to 100. And now, as you can see, it looks like I'm holding it. And now, optionally, what you could do is uh, remove this background and create uh, another, another one. Well, create or add another one, which looks better. So, uh, I'm going to tell you the way I would do it. Obviously, this layer is perfect, it doesn't have any background, but this other layer has a background I have to remove. So, um, I'm going to zoom in again, and I'm going to select the outline of my body. As you see, this will take a long time. Important, I've made a mistake. I'm working on this layer, so I have to click on this one, okay, and continue. Okay, here we have it. So now, copy and paste as new layer. So we have, well, first of all, select none, and we have these three. Obviously, this one is unnecessary, so delete layer. And here we have this. And now what I've told you, we can go to Pixabay and take a photo. This one could be good, but you can select the photo you, you like. You may download it. And once you have the photo here, you pass it to GIMP. We're going to move this layer to the background using this, for example. And here we are. Another optional optional thing you could do. I'm going to merge these two layers into one. So right click merge down. So now me and the blocks are only one layer. I'm going to create a white outline around my body, which is something some YouTubers do. It's easy. Right click alpha to selection. So it selects the outline. And now select grow. How much? 15 pixels, for example. If you think that's too much, you can shrink by 5 or 6. And once that is selected, I'm going to create a new layer with right click, new layer. And that new layer is going to be here. Okay. That layer is empty, but I'm going to take white. And by using this tool, the bucket fill tool, I'm going to click and select none. Uh, I'm going to show you that this layer has this, which is basically the shape of my body in the block, but a bit bigger because we have made it grow. As you see, we have a lot of extra space that we have to get rid of, so we're going to use this crop tool to select exactly what we're interested in. Click here, and now Export as Diego Holding Scratch Blocks, like here. Okay, and export. And here is our photo. I hope you liked this video. Try, try your own photos, and good luck, guys.